Hello guys. This is going to be your reading for um, from now until the end of the month. And um, this is for Aries. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Aries, primarily Sun, Moon, Rising sign, but also includes some um, Venus and Jupiter as well. So let's see what's going on for you guys throughout the remainder of the month. By Aries. Let's see. Aries. What's going on for my Aries through the remainder of the month? Aries. We have judgment. Yeah, my cards are upside down. You've got some big decisions to make here with the judgment card coming out front and center. There's something that you have kind of been riding the fence on, and um, but it's, it's it's like culminating, like you're it's in your face. You you can't avoid it anymore. So there's a big decision regarding something here, and this decision is going to have long-term consequences for sure. Because with judgment, judgment is twenty. And there is only 21 cards in a tarot, then it starts over again. Okay? So something is wrapping up for you. And you're getting ready to start on a new journey. Judgment is Scorpio's energy. Okay? Let's see what else we got for you guys. The Knight of Cups. Hmm. This definitely involves your love life with, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> That's why I'm here, because a lot of us are wanting to know if we're going to find that person. Is the person that we're with our person? So there's definitely a big decision surrounding courting somebody, offering our love to somebody, giving something another chance, you know. Definitely Scorpio's energy is here. This could definitely be your energy, because Aries and Scorpio... Um, they're, they're kind of similar, actually. That Mars energy. What else we got for Aries? The Hierophant. Consulting with people that whose opinions you value. The Hierophant energy is Taurus's energy. Taurus and Scorpio are like opposite. I feel like this is um, this is definitely your energy. This is definitely seeking like higher counsel, um, advice from someone. For some of you, this is deciding whether or not you want to take that big step and get married, get into a long-term relationship even, have that strong commitment with someone. But you're needing to like figure out if you guys are on the same page. Are they with you? Are they ride or die? With this higher fit energy. Because that is the card that's going to be in the center of your reading. So that is like most important. It's like making the right decision. Making an informed decision even. And temperance. Are they on the same page with you? Are they going to vibe with you? Are they going to create turmoil in your life? Or are they going to, uh, you know, ride parallel with you in peace, in serenity? Want to work things out with you without um, conflict? Okay? You have three majors here right now. This is a huge time for you guys. So, this decision is so important for you as far as love is concerned. Some of you feel like this is your last chance at love. The last hurrah, you know. And you really want it to work out. Temperance of Sagittarius' is energy. These cards are a little crooked. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. There's a couple of cards want to come out here, and I'm going to take them together. So we have the Four of Swords. You've been hurt. But I feel like you're over something, and you've taken a long time to 
really kind of find yourselves and figure out where you want to go next and and what you're going to do and how you're going to do it how you're going to maneuver even here and then justice because you want what you deserve okay you give people what they give you you want what you deserve with this justice energy and I feel like somebody in your past did you so wrong till for some of you it's been a while since you've really opened up and let somebody in but you definitely want a relationship that's gonna be have reciprocity you want someone that's going to treat you well because you guys are notorious for giving your all even when somebody does not deserve it. Okay? So, at this point, you want somebody that vibes with you. You want somebody that's going to give you what you give them. You want reciprocity. You want what is due to you. Because you feel like you've paid your dues is a thing here. Okay, and I'm just going to get some cards to go up under these to see what we can expand upon. Okay, okay, all right, you got cards jumping out here. We have the Empress. Oh, yeah, that's you. <laughs> Taurus, Aries, Libra type energy. You feel like, you know, you're standing on your, you're living in your own right. You are doing everything that you're supposed to do. You are the empress. You are the queen of swords. You are the queen of coins. You are the queen of wands. You are the queen of... What's the other one? <laughs> queen of swords. Queen of wands. Queen of coins. And the queen of cups. The, you're all of them. You are everything. You are every woman. You are every man. And you have to use that energy to get what you want. To steer your life. Okay? In order to be happy. You guys are enlightened. There's a lot of, um, oh my God, I feel like this overwhelming, um, empowered Aries sitting here. You know what you want, you know what you deserve, and you know what you're going to accept. That Leo energy, very empowered, very strong. And the Three of Swords. I feel like a Taurus, a Taurus hurt you guys, actually, for some of you. This is not for all of you, but this there's somebody with this, this energy of um, not budging, not listening to you, not willing to listen to you, feel like they're right, whatever they say goes, um, somebody that you felt like you couldn't get through to. I feel like this is a person that truly schooled you. And for some of you, you know, you are looking inside for your own advice. Because you know what you've already experienced. You're looking for advice from your experience, if that makes sense. From somebody that hurt you and disappointed you so deeply. Yes. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot that I feel like you guys have dealt with that's still like sitting in your chest. That you are saying to yourself, I am not going to go for this bullshit, this type of person anymore. I need somebody that's going to um, give me reciprocity, that's going to give me what I need, that wants to spend time with me, that's going to be there for me regardless. And look at that Six of Pentacles comes up. That's going to be there for me regardless. This right here speaks volumes. That Six of Pentacles energy. There was definitely a Taurus for a lot of you guys that they, they took you down through there. 
Okay. <clears throat> and the Eight of Cups. I feel like a lot of you guys are ready to um, ready to spread your wings again. Okay, because again, this Four of Swords energy, I feel like you were there for a while. It took a long time for you guys to really kind of open up yourselves. I think you're at that point where you're ready to open up and allow love, real, true um, love and commitment into your life. Okay, you're no longer with that bullshit. I feel like you're ready to be with someone at this point, this Eight of Cups. You're ready to come out of this Four of Swords energy. And you want what you truly deserve, guys. Okay? This is Piscean energy here. I think you're so full of emotion and um, uh, potential uh, love for the right person that is almost like spewing out of you guys at this point. Okay? So that is what I have for you, Aries. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.